I once asked you if publicity tours bothered you, and you said, well, I wouldn't do one in the north of England. Uh, what, what is it about the north of England? Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say a word against the north of England. It's simply you that... Uh, not, uh, I certainly will not. No, you then, then let me make this quite clear. <laughs> I, I, I am very <laughs> happy... In the north I'm of very England. happy to, uh, to make uh, uh, tours around the world because it's a jolly good way of seeing the world. And you see, you get asked the same questions all the time, and you just get a nice trip down to Singapore, Ceylon, Bangkok, Australia, New Zealand. I've just done, been to Australia for the third time because we in our country have a very strange game we play called cricket. You've done it. Which, uh, <laughs> which you see... Uh, You're not going to ask me to explain cricket to you, are you? Oh, no, 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 that's impossible. Yes. But we do go there every sort of four years, and they come back to us. And I arranged to go there to promote the last picture I've made, so it gives me not only the, the game to watch, but uh, some decent warm weather. I mean, let's be quite honest, we do have a very long winter, don't we? I always hear that. The winter starts somewhere in the middle of the summer and uh, ends somewhere in the middle of the spring, apparently. It's just about August. August, the 1st of August. Yeah. Uh -huh. The winter begins. Yes, and summer doesn't usually start as early as this. Well, it hasn't started, but we've had a few nice days, which I don't suppose you've had a chance to see. It's not warm yet, though. It gets warm at Wimbledon time, and then it rains as well, doesn't it? Yeah, constant. <laughs> You're a great cricket fan. Do you actually play the game? Uh, yes, you yes, can? I play the game, yes. yes. Are we a silly mid-off? Very silly, yes. I, I've just learned that expression. I can't imagine what it means. Somebody told me that well, there the is something called silly mid Well, the reason it's called silly is because you, you feel very near the batsman. And he, if he managed to hit the ball at you, you know, he mm -hmm. could decapitate you. So that's really quite a good name for it. But that is an actual expression oh, for yes, a position indeed. that you're the silly playing. silly mid-off, the silly mid-on, there's all, all sorts the of silly things. Oh, yes, all sorts of silly things. I wonder if in the States people would sit through a game that can take as long to play as a cricket game. No, I don't think game. so. You see, they take five days, these major test matches, and the whole object of the <laughs> thing <coughs> is, is not to lose. Oh. And <laughs> so oh, wait a minute. That, you're very going often, too fast, very, I mean, more times than not, there is no result. Mm -hmm. Now, unless you're a great follower of the game, <laughs> uh, that's the reason the grounds aren't being filled, you see, at the moment. So they've changed it to five days to one and make it possible for there to be some kind of result. After five days, the score After is nothing After several hundred nothing years. A draw. The game's yeah. been played, yes, yes, it's a draw. I don't think they'd sit through that in the States. No, States I don't think they would, because they'd... you always have a result with your, yeah. your baseball and your football. There's always going to be a result. You're more patient here. Although Americans did sit through the movie of Cleopatra, so possibly uh, <laughs> they would. I, I don't know. Oh, neither of you was in that, I hope. No, no, I, I guess no, not. No, no. What's you the film? No, 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 Trevor was certain. No, no. Uh -huh. You'd remember a thing like that, I think. I was asked to be and refused. That was supposed to be a joke. Did you know it was going to? That was supposed to be a joke. Well, it well, turned out that the... no, it isn't a joke. You see, no, I refused because I knew what it was going to turn out to be. How could you tell? Now, er, uh, uh, an entire to studio I almost. I would like to say. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I missed something. No, no, you didn't. No. A whole studio nearly collapsed because of that movie being such a disaster. How did you know it, it was didn't collapse? Be? What I just said now, I just didn't think it would be any good. And so that's uh, we have the prerogative of reading scripts and making our own decisions. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from that, I've, I've reached the age in my life where I like to like to enjoy making movies, especially after my year in Ireland. <clears throat> <laughs> Ireland's getting it again. What it isn't Ireland's fault. Is that? It's not Ireland's fault. Not Would Ireland's. you care to mention the name of the movie? Yes, it's true. Ryan's daughter. It's Thank extremely, you. Long extremely last. successful <laughs> picture. It's yes, doing it extremely well all around the world. How'd you get along with Bob Mitchum? Oh, we get along. Yeah. We get along very well, yes. Bob and I get along very well indeed. Did you ever have him on your show? Yes, he was wonderful. Uh, I, Did I, he I, ever I, say anything but yes or no? Well... <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> he, uh... He explained that, uh, I said to him once, you have a reputation for being a tough interview. And he said, I don't know why, because a lady asked me if I was enjoying the movie I was in, and I said no. And she asked me if I thought it was going to be a good movie, and I said no. And he said, those were all the right <laughs> answers, so I don't know why they think I'm a bad interview. Really? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but I did 90, uh, a whole show with him, and oh, it went yeah, by like so uh, on the wing, wings of a, of a dove. Whereas some go by on wings of cast iron. Mind you, <laughs> yes, but mind you, Bob does like to talk. I know him pretty yeah, well. He's I've, been, I've been in Bob's house, uh, and uh, if people uh, aren't there, he'll talk to the fireplace. He'll talk to himself. 
I've seen him talk how, to his how dogs. Would, how would you know this if no one's there? He's saying yes and no to himself. Oh, well, because he's not talking to me. I'm in the kitchen making the spaghettis. And he remains in the room talking to an empty room. Oh, frequently, yes. But saying what kind of thing? Yes and... Oh, no, he doesn't say yeah. that. Oh, he, he's very erudite. Bob, Bob can talk about everything if he chose to. But he probably doesn't choose to, I don't know. He, but he certainly can talk. Do you ever get in fights? Hmm. No. No, no, no. no, I'm very peaceful. Yeah. I don't like getting in fights. What would get your temper up to the point where you might get in a fight? <clears throat> oh, I can't stand him. <laughs> I get in fights when I'm not near enough to fight, I think. I get in terrible rages over the inefficiency of things, you know. Not like the British telephones. Oh, have I said Well, something? yes, they're, they're pretty, they're pretty something, yeah. I had, Robert Morley was here the other night and he swore that the, the British telephones were the most efficient in the world. Um, well, does um, he travel? <laughs> he, doesn't, well, he doesn't leave the English stage, does he? He, he, he did say that the American phones were not perfect, which is true, and truer every day. But uh, you can spend most of your life trying to complete a phone call in England. Yes, I know. That's why you never get any work. You can't get through to your agent or anything. On Sunday, my wife and I wanted to go out. We couldn't get the car out of the garage because a car was parked slap there. We couldn't even open the doors, and the car was locked. Now, that's what gets my dad up. Yes, they so, of course, I rang up the police, but they were having a good time. They took about half an hour to come around. They can't move an oak. Well, they did eventually. They made such a noise that there was two people necking in the woods heard them, and I just saw them wandering around. They were bobbing tail me so. But we were awfully late for our appointment. That makes me angry, because yeah. there were plenty of other places for them to park. It's thoughtlessness, isn't it? The idiot thoughtlessness. Mm. So you get more angry at, at things than at people. Well, no, you were actually angry at the, at the driver of the car. But do you find that when you're really mad, you do silly things like smash the phone down or kick the car that's in the way? Or uh, I'm fearless when it comes to punching physical objects. Uh, <laughs> do you ever do that? Do you ever find yourself just childishly smacking a telephone down and hoping it will break? No, I've often felt like throwing my shoe at the television set. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, I do like to see a, a play that has a, a form. Mm -hmm. uh, a quick story. I, I uh, heard at the Cannes Film Festival a few years ago two very famous directors, Henri Georges Clouseau and uh, Antonioni, who wins all the prizes. And Clouseau was saying to Antonio, he said, Michael, you must agree, surely, that there must be a beginning and a middle and an end. And he took forever, even longer than Bob Mitchum, and he said, yes, yes, Henri, but not necessarily in that order. <laughs> <laughs> which is what his films are like, as far as I'm concerned, because I don't think it matters which reel's on before the other. Hope I'm not offending anybody. <laughs> <laughs> don't see how you could. <laughs>